Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Elden Ring walkthrough. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to be getting some map fragments in the Altus Plateau. But before we do, we're going to talk about everything I did off screen. And really, all I did was change out the Dragon Rot Breath to the upgraded version. And I also went ahead and made one oil pot. And the reason why is because before we get started on getting the map fragments for the Altus Plateau, I want to go and help Alexander. So let's go ahead and go to our map. And we're going to come over here to Liernia and we're going to go to the artist shack. I'll see everybody over there. Let's hop on torrent. We're going to follow this path down. Don't worry about the night. It's not a big deal. If you want to kill him, you can. He should de aggro by the time we get over to Alexander. We're going to veer off to the left. And then we should hear Alexander in just a moment. Hello? Can you hear me? Help me! I'm stuck! Hello? Hello? Anyone? Ah, hello. How nice it is to see a friendly face. As you can surmise, I've got myself stuck in another hole. Would you mind helping me out again? My thanks in advance. I know you're the man for the job. You know what to do, hmm? Give me a good smack from behind with something nice and big. Don't worry about my wound sustained at the festival. I'm stuck back together good and proper. <laughs> Just give it your all. So to be able to get them out this time, we're actually going to need an oil pot. Throw an oil pot on them. Gosh, stop, please. That's my face. Smack me from the other end. The other end. Mm. Ah! Let's go ahead and talk to Alexander. My thanks to you and your razor-sharp wits. Oh. As a token of my thanks, I'd like you to have this. Oh, dearie me, I'm oilier than a toad. <laughs> yeah, there were countless oil jars back where I'm from, actually. And now I know what it's like to be one of them. <laughs> Yes, indeed. I too have a home. Though it is one to which I have vowed not to return. So, I thought I might look out from atop the cliff. But as I drew closer and closer, pow, wouldn't you know it, I was perfectly stuck in that blasted hole. I can feel the warriors inside admonishing me for my mawkishness. To walk the path of champions, one cannot cleave to the past. I'm headed to the Fiery Mount in the north. I can strengthen myself there without fear of cracking this vessel. I will forge myself anew in its flames. Alrighty. Now that we've talked to Alexander, we're going to head over to the Grand Lift of Dectus. But before we do, let's put a few markers down. We want one a right here and then we want one right here let's go ahead and fast travel over to the grand lift of dectus turn our lantern on real fast and then we're going to go up to the top here and we're going to hoist our medallion
Welcome everybody to one of my favorite spots in the whole game, the Altus Plateau. So before we start making our way to the markers, we're going to veer off to the northwest. And we're going to hop on top of these rocks. And we're going to light a grace. Now normally, if you don't go by the Iron Virgin's boss fight, you're going to find Araya right over here. But because we killed the Iron Virgins earlier into the walkthrough, she is in a, another location, which we will be meeting her shortly. First, let's start making our way to the first marker. Probably take those oil pots off here in just a moment. That way it's not taking up one of our quick slots. We're going to veer off to the left. Now I am going to grab the golden seeds. That way we can upgrade our flasks. So any Erd tree saplings that we come across, I'm going to grab the golden seeds from them. Get our first map fragment. Just wanted to dodge that spell. And then we're going to veer off to the east here. You can grab that item if you want. I'm going to save it for later. Now, if you want, you can go straight up the pathway up there. Or you can go to the east, northeast here, and take this path. There is a rune bear over here, so keep that in mind. But in my opinion, it's a little safer going up to the left instead of straight up the road. There's a lot of enemies when you go straight up the road. So be careful for the rune bear. We're going to dodge him here in a second. And then right here, we veer off. Make our way up this road. Be careful of the two knights on horses. We'll be fighting them later. For now, we're running straight for this grace. And then we're going to rest at it to de aggro these tree sentinels. Grab a golden seed and another one. We can get rid of this marker here. And then we'll grab the last map piece or fragment. Now we're going to fast travel to the Ravine Veiled Village. I'll see everybody over there. Let's climb this ladder. This spot should be pretty easy for everybody. Considering we are quite over leveled. Gonna come over here to the left. We have a guy that's mining. Be sure to be two handing your weapon. Grab up a smithing stone. And then we're gonna climb this ladder. Be careful, we got the vulgar militiamen, and also we have those poison seeds they set down. 
So be very, very careful. Just pay attention to where you're stepping. And you shouldn't step on him. We're going to be rolling off in just a moment here. We're going to see an item just right here. Grab the smithing stone five and then we're going to fall down. We're going to fall down one more time and then fall down one more time. Let's call the elevator back down. Also, just a little side note, if anybody is struggling with Upper Kaled, you can always save that for much later in the game. I do understand that that is a very, very difficult section, and I am very much over leveled for that area, so it didn't seem like it was as hard. So if anybody is struggling with that, just come back to it, rewatch those videos later on into the walkthrough. those guys out and then off to the left we're gonna have some vulgar militiamen being sneaky I knew it was right there and I still stepped on it be really careful Grab ourselves a rune arc, which I have a butt ton of them. Right here, we're going to have a silver scarab. This one explodes, so kill it and then back away. Come over here, grab some soft cotton. We'll light this grace. And then we'll take the elevator on up. Pretty linear area. Lots of bats over here as well. So be prepared for that. We're going to swing around here. And hop up. We're going to run and jump. Grab ourselves an item. Turn around. We're going to take this ladder down.
Before we go up this ladder, we're going to come over here, grab ourselves a smithing stone four. Tons of smithing stone fours at this point. You probably don't need them, but you never know. Maybe you're trying to upgrade a second weapon or a third weapon. We do have one of these female bats. We want to take her out first. Now if we turn around, we can get a couple smithing stone fours just climb up this ladder and then over here on this ledge we're gonna jump to it we're gonna circle around grab ourselves a golden rune five jump back across Grab another smithing four. Like I said, there is going to be a ton of smithing fours over here. By now, you're probably needing smithing stone five, six, or sevens. We're going to come across here. And we have a big octopus over there. Let's take care of some of the smaller ones first. Like I said, this area should be really easy at this point. We're going to get the Serpent God's Curve Sword. Reminds me of the Serpent Man Sword from Dark Souls 1. So if you like that sword, it's pretty much the same thing. Get another Smithing Stone 4. Now you can summon in your mimic tier or whatever summon you have to help you out here, but we're going to have two female bat ladies. I didn't bother summoning anything in. They're not that hard. Take care of the octopuses. Or octopi, maybe that's how you say it. I'm going to hop down right here. Grab ourselves a Lost Ash of War. Or Ashes of War. Lost Ashes of War. Grab ourselves another Rune Arc. As you can tell, I am overflowing with Rune Arcs. From helping so many people. If you're not doing that, you're probably going to be grinding a little more than me for runes. I mean, I, I do grind quite a bit for runes, though. Sometimes a little too much. Let's go ahead and light this grace, and then we're going to rest at it. Let's level up our flask, and then we're going to reallocate it and give us one more Cerulean Flask, and that's it. The rest is gonna go into Crimson. Let's 
go ahead and activate this summoning pool. And then over here, we have three different people to summon. I would not summon in Mel uh, what's her name? Melisent, Mel I cannot pronounce her name. I apologize. I would go for the Great Horned Targeth, summon him in. And then I would summon in, I think his name is Blackguard. We'll see in just a moment. Yeah, Blackguard. These two are going to be more helpful than Melisent or Millicent. She doesn't have an arm right now, so she can't really help us. All right, Blackguard is summoned in. Let's go ahead and drink our Wondrous Flask of Physic. Summon in our Mimic Tear and take off this oil pot. We'll heal ourselves. It's going to be a magma worm, not hard. Can be annoying because, well, it does that run and spew out lava back and forth. Likes to spam that a lot. It's probably going to do it again. Nope. Thank goodness. Heal ourselves. And then wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. So for killing the magma worm, we're going to get its scale sword and we're going to get a dragon heart. Come over here. We're going to rest at this grace. Just so we can get all our flasks and stuff back. And then we're going to take this elevator up. Now we're back at the Altus Plateau. We're actually on the far left side. We have another grace we can light. And then right up here, we're going to come around this cart. You can parry these guys. They're not hard to parry. You can also get backstabs on them as well. Right here we're going to get a smithing five. And then we want to come back over here. Just follow the carts. Jump up top. If you want to kill that guy as well, you can. I'm not going to bother. Go ahead and grab the ruler's mask and the ruler's robes. Drink our flask. We're about to have to fight another dragon. But we don't have to kill it. Like last time, we just have to wound it enough that it'll run away. 
This one is like Fortisax, except stronger. And it is gone. Top on Torrent, we're going to head northeast to east. And then we're going to talk to Millicent. again. In truth, it's been smooth sailing for me. The Scarlet Rot has stilled since last we met. As such, I've been able to continue my journey. Though rather vexingly, I realized that if I still had my sword arm, I could have aided you in battle. Now I'm tracing the path Melania took after unleashing the power of the Scarlet Rot during her battle with General Radan in the Caled Wilds. I should like to meet her. This vanished woman. I think she's in the north, in the lands that lie beyond the Erd Tree. So we're going to get her a sword arm eventually, and then she actually will be able to help us. But she doesn't have an arm right now, so she wouldn't have been very helpful in the boss fight that we just had with the magma worm. Right up here, we're going to see Rhea. Let's go ahead and talk to her. She's going to bring us to the Volcano Manor. I've been waiting for you. I knew you had the stuff of champions. I hereby invite you to the Volcano Manor. Take my hand and have audience with my mistress. Give me your hand. I will pray that you follow the same path as Lady Tanith. Let's light this grace, and then we're going to talk to Lady Tanith. Brave Tarnished. Welcome to the Volcano Manor. I am Tanith, the proprietress of this house. Raya spoke well of you. A warrior of promise, I believe she said. Perhaps you are prepared to make a commitment. Will you join us here at the Volcano Manor and resist the tide? Why accept the burden of their grace or be fooled by the dogmatic ramblings of the fingers? Rise with us against the Erd Tree. Interesting. Your decision is most welcome. Now you belong to the Volcano Manor family. The drawing room lies down the hall. Make yourself comfortable. But be sure to earn your keep. We're going to head over to the drawing room. Someone please kill him. That horrendous serpent. Praetor Rikard. Hmm. You're tarnished, here to put the demigods to the sword. Then please, kill the great serpent, the one that devoured Praetor Reichard. I left the serpent slaying spear in the Lord's chamber, worthy tarnished. Brandish the spear and run him through. The Great Serpent. That unspeakable monstrosity. Pray to Rikard's ambitions, though blasphemous. Marked him a worthy sovereign, 
but they were reduced in gluttonous depravity once he gave himself to the serpent. Whatever that thing is, it is no longer Praetor Rikard. Someone must kill him to spare him and his ambitions from further dishonor. I'm gonna open this door as well. It's got two doors to the drawing room for some reason. I, I don't know why. Doesn't really make sense. Let's talk to Dialos. We haven't seen him in a long time. Ah. Oh, I've... It's, it's you, is it? Well, nice to see you again. So you've been invited as well, I see. Then we're comrades in arms henceforth. You watch my back, and I'll watch yours. Yes? I, um... I can tell... You're wondering about Lanya. Well, you see, I... After much internal debate, I've come to realize... Revenge is not the answer. According to Lady Tanith, I've got the stuff of champions. And champions, ironic as it is, are oft forced to walk a tainted path. It hit me like a bolt from the blue. That my former thoughts were simple naivety. Of course my heart weeps for Lanya. That unfortunate incident was a cruel twist of fate indeed. But succumbing to the pain and sadness caused won't make me a champion, will it? Lanya knows this, I'm certain. Fate has laid hard roads for us both. But such is true of any road trod by champions. I always resented these hands, their pale complexion, a far cry from any warriors, the shame of House Hoslo. But that won't be the case for long. They'll be darkened by grit once I've set out on the path of champions. The tale of House Hoslo is told in blood after all. You. What in heaven's name are you doing here? The Volcano Manor is a pit of recusants who spit at grace and hunt our own kind. I hope you understand the weight of my words. Well, as long as you understand what you're saying. I thought you were tarnished bred by virtue. Perhaps playing that part led you to your doubts, I wonder. But know that the path you walk is blasphemy and leads only to a miserable death. Before you consider hunting any of your own kind, think on that. Let's come over here. We're gonna grab a letter for the from the Volcano Manor. And the recu Recusant Finger. Let's talk to Rhea. Hello again, brave tarnished. As a scout, I am pleased to see you again here at the Volcano Manor, under Lady Tanith's guidance. May you tread the path of valor. We're gonna come over here to the map and we're gonna put a marker down. Over here we can open up this door. There's nothing in it just yet, but Raya or Rhea however you pronounce her name, she's going to end up over there. When we open this door, we are going to get an item. And for anybody that likes to use perfumes, here's our first perfume bottle. I may or may not try that out. We'll see. And then up top, we can fight an invader, but we're not going to do that just yet. We're actually going to come out here and grab the last map fragment. That way all of Mount Gilmere and all of Altus Plateau will be opened up. Now there's a silver scarab running around over here. I'm not going to bother with that just yet, but I am going to come over here to the Erd Tree Sapling and grab the golden seed. Just follow this road down or pathway, whatever you want to call it. Let 
gonna veer off to the left here just for a second grab one little item and then over here is going to be the hardest spot because we're gonna have a big hand that is going to try to mess us up just grab the map fragment light the grace and then sit at it so we can de-aggro that big old hand and then we have all the map fragments and we can see all of the Altus Plateau and Mount Gilmer. So what we're going to do is when we come back, we're going to start over by the abandoned coffins. So I'll see everybody over at that grace. Alrighty, everyone. This is where we're going to end the video. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean a lot to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night. Whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.